After three years of construction, a Chinese-built toll road has opened on the island country of Jamaica. The project marks the largest Chinese investment to date in the Caribbean. Officials say there is more to come. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg joins us live from Kingston, Jamaica. Roy, big highway. What's been the reaction by the locals there? Well, Michelle, many people here were anticipating the opening of this highway. This has been a project that's been dreamed about in Jamaica for the last half century. Uh, parts of the highway were opened in recent weeks, but at a ceremony on Wednesday marking the opening of the full highway, Jamaican and Chinese officials spoke of a new standard of coordination and cooperation between the two. Still, it might be some time before we see traffic pick up. It's been locally dubbed the Beijing Highway, a new toll road that will directly connect the Jamaican capital Kingston in the south with the resort beach city of Ocho Rios in the north, a two-hour drive reduced to less than half, thanks to a $730 million project with funding coming from China. You know, as a company, we're very happy to have, to have, to have a chance you know, to provide our services to the Jamaican people. More than a thousand Chinese workers and a thousand local Jamaicans spent three years building the road, officially called the North-South Highway. Difficult terrain required creative engineering solutions. Jamaica's Prime Minister said success was possible thanks to a, quote, good, strong bond and friendship between Jamaica and China. And we intend to use those things to secure even greater investment, not just in infrastructure, but in tourism, in agriculture, in leisure and recreation, in building new cities, in water. The highway is hoped will play a crucial role in helping resuscitate Jamaica's economy. It's been burdened by large interest payments to international creditors that have left little room for domestic government spending. Jamaica gave the China Harbor Engineering Company, which built the highway, a 50-year concession to recover its costs. It also gave it land alongside the highway to develop for commercial and residential use that could spell more jobs and more growth in the near future. And there's plans for more, including a new deep water shipping port. The investment amount double the cost of the highway. We have accumulated uh, some experience after 30 plus years of reform. Now we are able to share what we have with our Caribbean friends. Which is exactly the point, officials say. A partnership that, from here on out, will only accelerate. And the Chinese company here is not wasting any time. I asked some of the engineers working for them if now that the highway has been opened, if they might uh, relax a bit and enjoy Jamaica's beach, uh, beaches. They told me uh, that they're still already busy working on the next project, a multi-platform uh, uh, project uh, overseeing lots of infrastructure changes here in Jamaica, wasting no time. Michelle? Well, it's a nice place to waste some time. Uh, Rory, speaking about the highway, there has been some disputes about toll prices. What are the details there? And you know, this uh, ceremony uh, that we saw on Wednesday actually happened at the southernmost uh, toll plaza of this new highway. It's really a very uh, uh, passionate domestic uh, issue, and it's been played out within domestic politics. Uh, some say that the toll prices that are being set by the Chinese as part of that concession, as their right to do so, uh, have been set too high that they may be off-putting for the average Jamaican whose income might be lower than what is necessary to really make use of that toll. We saw the criticism being made again at the ceremony by Portia Simpson, the leader of the opposition and the former prime minister, uh, saying this criticism in front of the Chinese uh, officials and delegates who are there. Separately afterwards, the prime minister, Andrew uh, Honus, announcing that in discussions with the Chinese uh, firm, uh, they agreed that the tolls would be reduced by 25 percent. That's already been widely reported here, and many people welcoming that news. It's not just the Jamaicans, though, that will be using that highway. We do expect an influx of tourists from the north and the south to use it as well.